In July, Mr. Speaker, the Energy and Commerce Committee held a hearing to learn about the challenges associated with finding treatments for neurogenerative diseases, including ALS. We heard from the lead scientists at the National Institutes of Health and the Food and Drug Administration and researchers at top universities who discussed the difficulties scientists have had in understanding the complexities of the disease and developing biomarkers, a critical tool for drug development. FDA told us about the guidance they had provided to industry on ensuring clinical trials were inclusive and the agency's willingness to consider novel clinical research methods. However, we also heard from patients who said that FDA's guidance was not doing enough to get results on the ground. Given the length of time it often takes to diagnose ALS, many patients have found themselves locked out of clinical trials despite the guidance urging developers to allow more flexible enrollment. As a result, patients and their families are left to fight this devastating disease with very limited medical interventions. According to the patient advocates, FDA's guidance was not being implemented by developers and was not being followed by the agency itself. So H.R. 3537, the Accelerating Access to Critical Therapies for ALS Act, takes real steps to improve processes and activities at FDA to ensure patients can access clinical trials. This legislation will help us get closer to effective cures and treatments for ALS. It requires FDA to develop and carry out an action plan to show how the agency will address ALS and other neurodegenerative diseases over the next five years. The bill also creates a new grant program at FDA to cover research costs to characterize rare neurodegenerative diseases, identify molecular targets for the diseases, and increase efficiency and productivity of clinical trials. Additionally, the bill creates a new grant program at the Department of Health and Human Services that will help pay for investigational drugs to prevent, diagnose, mitigate, treat, or cure ALS in expanded access programs. Expanded access is an important pathway for patients to receive experimental treatments, but should only be used when clinical trials and other effective treatments are not available. In committee, Mr. Speaker, we ensured there would be a path forward for patients who are not able to participate in clinical research, but also clarified the intent and parameters of the program to maintain the scientific integrity of our research agencies. The legislation now requires the Government Accountability Office to measure the program ahead of a five-year sunset to ensure that these novel grant programs are benefiting patients and researchers, and the grants included in this bill are charting new territory for NIH, and it's important we measure their level of success before we explore efforts to expand this program beyond ALS. This bill would not be here on the floor today were it not for the steadfast determination of patients and their families. At our hearing on this legislation in July, Brian Wallach and his wife, Sandra Abruvaya, co-founders of I Am ALS, spoke so eloquently of their own personal fight against ALS and charged us with the task of passing this bill. And hundreds of patient advocates across the country have made their voices heard to members as well. To Brian, Sandra, and all of the patients and their families, I reiterate what I said during our full committee markup. We heard you, and now we're acting. We're grateful for your collaboration and willingness to work with us to improve this bill. I also want to acknowledge the work of Representative Mike Quigley, the sponsor of this legislation, who has been tireless in his efforts to see this legislation across the finish line. I appreciate his willingness to work with us to get this bill through the committee so that it was ready for action here on the floor. And of course, I also want to thank our chairwoman of the health subcommittee, Ms. Eshu, for all that she's done to move this bill. I urge my colleagues to support the Act for ALS, and I reserve the balance of my time.